Hey guys, let's get more news about Warriors, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Warriors get major update on Star Trade Target. The Golden State Warriors receive a massive blow in their bid to trade for 2023 Most Improved Player of the Year Lori Markkinen of the Utah Jazz. According to multiple reports, Markkinen will not sign an extension with the Jazz on Tuesday, August 6, which will keep him off the trade market until after next season. Yahoo Sports' Jake Fisher reported on Monday, August 5, that all indications point to Markkinen delaying his signature for that exact purpose. Fisher's intel corroborated the earlier report of the Athletics' jazz beat reporter Tony Jones. According to the Athletics' Tony Jones, it's unlikely that Markkinen will sign the new deal by Tuesday, which makes sense. The 27-year-old Markkinen knows he's going to get major money either now or next summer. By not signing this week, Markkinen essentially gains a bit of control over his future, the Athletics' Tim Kawakami wrote. Markkinen signing an extension with the Jazz after August 6 is the worst-case scenario for the Warriors since they are not positioned to get him in the free agency with limited cap space. It will also eliminate Markkinen's bird rights, which the Warriors covet, that would allow them to re-sign to a max extension next summer without using their cap space. According to Substack's NBA insider Mark Stein, the Warriors are unwilling to give up two of their best young players Brandon Podziemski and Jonathan Kaminga, along with a heavy draft compensation, for Markkanen. Golden State, to date, has pursued Markkanen without including Podziemski or Jonathan Kaminga in trade packages laden with future draft compensation, Stein wrote on August 4. The Athletics' Shams Charania reported on July 15 that the Warriors have offered Moses Moody multiple first-round picks, multiple pick swaps and multiple second-round picks. But Jazz prefer Podziemski over Kuminga in a Markkanen trade, along with all the Warriors' draft capital, Charania added later during his guest appearance on Sirius XM NBA Radio. The Warriors have drawn a line in the sand, preferring to keep both young players or they could include Podziemski but not all their draft capital. The Jazz covets Podziemski, who is on a cost-controlled contract and is just coming off an all-rookie first-team season than Kaminga, who is about to become pricey with his rookie extension. The Warriors have two available unprotected firsts, 2025 and 2027 or 2026 and 2028, and another one in 2031st if it falls in the top 20, it will go to the Washington Wizards if it falls outside the top 20, and three unprotected pick swaps and five second-round picks in the next six drafts. The Warriors are very high on Podziemski as evidenced by the team owner Joe Lacob's lavish praise on the 21-year-old guard. Oh my God! He was a revelation to be quite honest, Lacob said during the NBA Summer League in Las Vegas. I mean, he is one of the all-rookie team top five in the league. He started a bunch of games for us. Steve, Kerr, had trouble getting him off the floor. The 21-year-old Podziemski averaged 9.2 points, 5.8 rebounds and 3.7 assists while shooting 38.5% from the three-point distance. He started in 28 games, averaging 9.5 points, 6.3 rebounds, and 4.0 assists. He's so good, Lacob added. He does so many things. Well, he's ultra-confident. He's got an NBA body and can get wherever he wants. He obviously could shoot threes. He could drive. He could pass. I mean, what can't he do? We're really excited. We think we've got a future all-star. We really do. NBA rumors, Warriors still on Markkanen, Jared Allen still tradable, Bulls struggling to find a deal. We are in the quietest part of the NBA offseason. Summer league is done, the free agent frenzy has settled, and preseason basketball is still a couple months away. There are still noteworthy and signed players and splashy trade candidates floating around, though. The NBA rumors are alive and well. Let's dive into the latest scuttlebutt from around the association. Billy Donovan, Chicago Bulls head coach and professional juggler. 
few head coaches are in a tougher spot than Billy Donovan right now. The Bulls are finally embracing a long overdue rebuild, but with a catch. Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic are talented vets who invariably raise Chicago's floor, but neither is very appealing to front offices around the league. Chicago has made attempts to trade both, and still is attempting to trade both, according to Joe Cowley of the Chicago Sun-Times, but so far, interested teams have been difficult to come by. There's still time. We're a few months out from the regular season. But, as Cowley's report outlines, the logical outcome is Levine and Vucevic starting the season in Chicago. From there, the Bulls will hope to rebuild their value and locate trade partners mid-season. But diplomat isn't the only role that Donovan will have to take on as fall camp nears. He better be well-versed in the art of juggling. That's why Donovan had to make sure Levine and the organization can continue to coexist, while also explaining to him that balling out from day one of the 2024-25 campaign is the quickest ticket to getting elsewhere. The Levine relationship appears particularly sticky at the moment. It's clear he is not beloved in Chicago and the Bulls want him gone. That will make the start of next season awkward. It's hard for teams to drown out the noise, no matter how ardently players push that narrative in post-game interviews. Discord and outside pressure can get to a team, especially one so accustomed to mediocrity. Chicago is broken. The front office is finally making an earnest attempt to fix what is broken, but until all the albatrosses are removed, it's difficult to expect anything other than dysfunction and embarrassment from this bull squad. Here's to hoping Mattis Buzelis has the juice. Golden State Warriors held interest in former Grizzlies big man. More shooting in the front court has been an obvious need for the Golden State Warriors this offseason, with that element a key reason behind their current pursuit of Utah Jazz forward Laurie Markkinen. But the Warriors could have also filled the void with a cheaper option on the bottom end of the roster, having reportedly held interest in forgotten former Memphis Grizzlies big man Killian Tilly. Tilly played 54 games across two seasons with the Grizzlies, having averaged 3.2 points in 11.9 minutes per game. But after a back injury wiped out the final portion of his 2021-22 campaign, Tilly was waived by Memphis ahead of the following season and hasn't been seen at NBA level since. After regaining full health, the 26-year-old is now eyeing an NBA return, starting his progress by playing for the Boston Celtics during the recently completed Summer League. Tilly averaged 8.4 points, 3.8 rebounds, and a block in 17.2 minutes, shooting an impressive 41.2% from beyond the arc on 3.4 attempts per game. In a recent interview with Theo Lawson of the Spokesman Review, it was revealed that the six foot nine forward had a number of feelers, with strong interest coming from the Golden State Warriors and Philadelphia 76ers in particular. It sounds like that interest may have come pre summer league, particularly given Golden State have since filled their roster with 14 fully contracted players and a trio on two way contracts. That leaves little in the way of financial capacity and roster spots, though Tilly could re emerge as an option should that change. The Frenchman proved an efficient three-point shooter for his size over four college years at Gonzaga, having drilled 44.4% of his 2.2 attempts from beyond the arc. That didn't quite translate in his stint with the Grizzlies, where he shot 31.1% on the same average attempts. Markkinen would be the ideal solution to the Warriors' need for front-court shooting, but they have also addressed it to an extent by drafting Dutch big man Quinton Post with the 52nd overall pick. The seven-footer shot 42.6% and 43.1% over his final two seasons at Boston College. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Killian Tilly? Leave your opinion in the comments.